Thank you all for coming. Uh, we're going to start the rally now, and it's actually going to be a march. Um, but first, I'll hand it over to Audrey Siegel, who's kind of come here. She's going to do the opening. Audrey also started the Ten City at Oppenheimer Park in 2014. Yeah. First, let me say to each of you for being here, for caring, for the media who's here, who I know is going to give us accurate, fair coverage, no slanted media. Um, this is the language that this land knows for over 16,000 years. I say welcome. I especially say welcome to those who come with a good heart and a good mind to stand solid and stand in support of our brothers and sisters who have been forced from their homes yet again. There is, an, there is a direct connection between what's happening here and we can go back to the history of how Vancouver came to be. My people went through this exact same scenario. How old is Vancouver? 120, 150, 100, over 100 years ago. My people were forced off of our land. This city exists on top of my ancestors without our permission. We see it over and over again. It is beautiful land, right? It is beautiful. So we see it over and over again. I grew up down here. I have been on these streets since I was in my mama's belly, in and out of the SROs, shelters, detoxes, in and out of the parks. I'm lucky. I don't have to be down here anymore. I have a home and now a rented home in my community. But I stand solid with my people down here because if we don't have each other, what do we have? We have the government and the police working against us to take yeah. us from the only homes that the, some people have. The reason Tent City at Oppenheimer set up two summers ago was because SROs and shelters are not options for homes. No. Safe, clean, affordable homes now. Yeah. No more compromise. Yeah. Yeah. No more developers <coughs> getting rich off of my ancestors' land. Gentrification. No more gentrification because gentrification is directly contributing to the homelessness crisis. And we can't just look at the homelessness crisis that's happening without looking at the rest of what's going on in society. We have to directly address the underlying issues. And I've been saying this for over two years, if anybody else has heard me saying this, for two years straight, I've been saying the same thing. Address the underlying issues. This is connected to murder to missing women. This is connected to forced yeah. displacement. This is connected to not just the homelessness crisis, but the shame it is that there are people left to die on these streets. People say you can't starve in the downtown east side, but what good is a hot meal on a cold day when you're going back to sleep in an alley or on yeah. the cement? Yeah. 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 No more band-aid solutions. If the developers in the city have the power to say yes to more displacement, then we, the people who are the majority, have the power to not only say no, but to enforce the changes that we need. <clears throat> and we do that by gathering like this, by using our numbers and our presence, by working even though they will portray us to be something different, by working from a place of light and love and peace. I'm here because I love you. Yeah. I'm here because you we love matter. You too. I'm here because you deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. Something my people have never had on these lands. Yeah. yeah. So I implore you. Keep doing your good work. Keep uniting. Keep standing up for your rights and the rights of your brothers and sisters. What happened at Tent City, the way we were taken down, it was violent. It was aggressive. It was unbelievably unnecessary. I sat in that park for hours after everybody left and I still now I go by and I see all the marks on the grass from where those tents were. We left our mark in that park just like the mark is left here. You matter. 
I'm here because you matter. I'm here because for whatever good I can contribute, I'm going to contribute it. So everybody else here who's able to contribute more and do more, do that. And I'm here to also remind you, take care of yourselves, love yourselves, not just because I love you, but because you have a role. You have an important job to do here. And I want to see that happen. I want you in a safe, clean, affordable home now. And we're going to do everything we can to make that happen. As long as the developers are being prioritized, there's going to be tent cities. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The reason this tent city set up is the same reason that Oppenheimer Park tent city set up. It's the same reason that Crab Park set up how many decades ago? Nothing has changed. Our voices are still silenced. Our presence is still pushed to the sidelines. And I say no more. Yeah. yeah. I call out this mayor. I call out the three First Nations who are doing deals with developers who are causing forced displacement. I call out the people who are moving into the neighborhood, forcing us out of here. This, first and foremost, is my ancestors' land, and it's my job to approve of what happens here on behalf of my ancestors, to make sure that what happens here is good. What's happening down here, for the most part, is not good, and that's why I spend so much of my time down here, because somebody has to represent and care. Somebody has to remind that all life is sacred. That, yeah. I'm going to say it again. Safe, clean, affordable homes now. Yeah. That's what everybody deserves. And I call out every developer, every new homeowner, all of these businesses, all of them. I call them all out. Either step up or step back because we're coming through and we will have what is right and just and fair and what we deserve. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The city has launched an injunction against 58 West Hastings. They think that the private property... Uh, it's more important than homeless people's lives. There's no shelters, uh, all the shelters are full and they're not accessible either. There's no housing for low-income people and that's why we're here today because homeless people are not going away. Uh, we're going to hear from uh, Stacy and Helen who have been here since July 9th and they've been at the forefront of fighting against the city uh, against this injunction. We were told three months later that we had to leave. So Stacey and I took it upon ourselves to go and see a lawyer, and we did. And uh, we took it to court. Um, it didn't work. <laughs> the judge told us we had to leave. Um, we don't like being homeless. We've been homeless for three and a half years, off and on. You know, eight years, actually. But um, I had a good life for 15 years. Um, I grew up on the streets down here. Um, I'm 51 years old. My health isn't all that good. Um, it's hard for me to find housing. Um, shelters are just not for me. <laughs> I don't like the bugs biting me, and I don't like cockroaches around, and you know, I don't like people grabbing at me. And it's a bad, it's a bad situation, you know. I'd rather have a home that I can be in, you know, watch TV once in a while, and go to work when I have to. You know, I want to, I want to work, man. I want to, I want to be able to live somewhere. This is nothing. This is, a, this is a dead end for me, you know. My health is really bad. Um, I don't know. It's just we need to have a solution for this. This is this is unacceptable. Um, Vancouver is a rich country, a rich city. You know, Canada is a rich city. It's a beautiful country, man. People come here because they love us here. You know, because we're, we're we're good people. Well, you know, you got you got to be a good person, but you know, you're treating your own kind, that you know, your own people like shit. Yeah. You know, you get bring yeah. refugees here and you help them. You should, you know. Help you go your own. Yeah, There's third world right here. Yeah. It, be a it is. It should go over to you know, I got nothing yeah. against refugees or nothing. No. You know, I'm not a racist by all not means. At all. Um, but, you know, a lot of money went into that. And, you know, you can use some of that money to build houses for people who need it. There's children that are, that are homeless. I see kids that sleep outside with their parents. You know, that's just, that's terrible. You know, I'm ashamed to be a Canadian when I see stuff like that, you know? That's not Canada. That's not where you're Shame on the government. Shame on the government. Shame on the government. Shame on the government. I feel like I feel like taking this to this to the Supreme Court. I really do because I'm so upset right now. You know, I really feel like fighting this because I I got nothing. I got nothing else, right? And I, and I want to help these people and. You know, I got to do something about this. This is this is wrong. This is no, I'm, I'm just so upset right now. Yeah. So the city says that this site is unsafe and there's violence here, but 
being homeless is unsafe <laughs> and uh, the dismantling of ten cities that's violence pushing people into the back alleys where they're isolated and by themselves on the back alleys that's violent um, so we're gonna also hear from Elaine from Power of Women and she was here she started was one of the people who started with Power of Women the 58th was Hastings 10 city during the Olympics in 2010 and so what we're seeing here is nothing is changing right despite all these high intensities and then it after Elaine, we're going to head off and we're going to take over a new site. Nice. Yeah. Hello everybody, my name is Elaine DeRocher, I'm an AT from Saskatchewan. I've resided in the downtown east side Vancouver for the last 36 years. I've done my drugs down here, I did my drinking, I've done my time. But I also cleaned up my act and I have a home. But that does not mean that I do not remember I was homeless nine years ago. And also, Harsha, Wally and the Power Women Group from the downtown east side started Ten City in 2010 and we had this whole lot and I'm very, very, very ashamed of our government. How can they let our city and our homeless people come to this? Look at this. I want the government to come and try and live like this. They raise their rates every year for what? Doing fuck all. I want them to do something for my people. Nope. It's a crime when the government does not help us. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. I want City Hall to do something. Where is Gregor and all his damn promises? Yeah. Yeah. Where, Where is he? Yeah. Ashamed of his own, uh, his stepson. He says, oh, he's only adopted. Well, shame on him. Yeah. He took him into his house, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Now that his yeah. stepson has done wrong, he's totally ashamed of him. Yeah. Can you imagine how he feels about us? Well, fuck that. We're going to do something. Fuck we're going to do something and we're going to raise hell. People, do not take this lane down. Please. 2010 Olympics did not wake up their eyes. 2014, uh, 10 City did not open their eyes. And 2016, we're not closing nothing. We are going to stand tall and strong. And, and I'm going to tell the government that shelters is not a home. Living in these tents with the mice and the rats and the bed bugs is not a home. No. Being in those SRR rooms up here, SOR rooms with bed bugs at night when the rats run on your face and in yeah. the morning the mice yeah. have made yeah. your jacket into a home. Yeah. Come on, why do you think there's so much addiction on our streets? Yeah. When you have to live like this, you have to numb yourself every yeah. night. Yeah. Whether it's alcohol, whether it's drugs, yeah. you have to numb yourself because you cannot live like this. Yeah. I was a drug addict. I was an alcoholic. I found a home. Yeah. But that does not mean that my heart is not open for all that's going on down here. Amen. The government needs to get their priorities straight. This is Christmas. How many people need to sleep on the street at Christmas while the government has their little houses and their big Christmas trees? Parties. I say to everybody, all my people down here, and you are all my people. I don't care what color you are. You are my people. Yeah. I am a Métis. That means I'm of mixed blood. Yeah. I don't point no fingers. I don't look down my nose. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I am with you in body, mind, and soul. Yeah. Please do not give up all my relations. I love you all. To house all homeless and low-income people and also all the refugees who are coming into Canada. Everyone should have the right and access to a stable home. All right, we're going to take to the streets, and I'm not actually going to announce the site yet. We're just going to go there and take it over. So we're going to go out on Hastings, and we're going to head east on Hastings. Uh, and Karen is going to get us going here with some chance. Also, we need volunteers to help uh, push along the blue bins with people's belongings. Uh, it seems like it sorted out. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Let's go. Let's go. So what we're seeing here is homeless people under attack. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. Homeless people under attack. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. Homeless people under attack. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. Homeless people under attack. What do we do? Stand up, fight back.